Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm here joined with Inti Campo. Hello people, how are you? Uh, really exciting show today. Uh, you're going to be learning what uh, NFTs are, right? A lot of people don't know what they are and basically they're non-fungible tokens. And I know most of you don't even know what fungibility means and we're going to be going over that as well. And I think, honestly, uh, uh, NFTs may be bigger than DeFi for quite some time. Hopefully uh, you will learn a little bit about what NFTs can do and how it will um, impact uh, your future and maybe even profit from it, right? Depending on, you know, if, you're, if you've got a good eye for, um, for artwork and, and quality things, uh, right, um, that you can uh, collect or quality collectible. So anyways, we'll be talking a little bit about that today. And but before all that, we're going to be doing some TA on Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, talking a little bit about uh, my uh, token and uh, Pandora's wallet. So uh, look forward to that. All right, Inti, you got a few words to, to let everybody know what's going on. Yes, as, all, as always people, it's worth reminding you that this video is for entertainment purposes only and this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before putting any of your hard air money on the market. And yes, I'm not fired yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to uh, Ethereum, uh, first Bitcoin, right? Uh, as you can see, the week is uh, not doing anything. Nothing's happening here. We can see that on the chart. And um, right now, we're hoping that Bitcoin does not do the CME gap. You know what? As you know, right? Um, everybody's like searching the CME gap. Everybody and their mother is searching on the CME gap. Right, they're like looking. Okay, is this thing going to get filled? <laughs> yeah, even my grandma is looking at it. <laughs> and uh, you know, when everybody's looking at something and uh, and look planning for it, it, chances are it's not going to happen, especially in the market. So uh, yeah, uh, even though everybody's planning for it, I'm still going to plan just in case it does happen, and uh, I'm going to actually purchase in that uh, CMA gap. I was thinking about doing a uh, blind purchase, maybe at the 38.2, right? Which seemed like a logical place to buy, um, the 38.2. And so I, I might do that um, uh, because I think it might, just above the 38.2, maybe the, the you know, the $9,200 level and stuff like that, um, just to, to, to see if we can like get a, a bounce uh, I want to do a three to one risk to reward ratio here. Um, uh, I think that's that would be the probably safe thing to do, if uh, if we were to dump uh, all the way to the sixty one point eight, that would be bad though. You'd be get wiped. You get wiped probably. But um, yeah, um, you could always uh, stick a stop loss uh, near the end of these these uh, candle bodies, which would probably be. A good place to stick a stop loss, which is a, a the sixty-eight the uh, eighty-six hundred uh, uh, level there. Um, so that if the market were to just keep going dumping, yeah, that would be the um, way you would uh, exit and say, hey, you know what, I was wrong, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, reset at the sixty-one point eight. All right, uh, see what's happening here. Well, on the on the uh, three day, let's go down to the one day actually. Right, I like how you know what? Oh wow, the three day is interesting. Interesting. I just didn't. I, I didn't notice this. Well, you can see there's two thing, two interesting candle patterns here. Um, is this a fractal? Uh, no, not quite. Okay, I thought it was a fractal because it would have to be a little bit lower for it to be a fractal. But what I like what what happened here is this like um, uh, this is pretty much done. Put a fork in the bottom here. So maybe, just maybe, we are not going to break this level here. All right, let's talk about Ethereum, right? And what's going on there. You have, a, you have an interesting chart to show to Ethereum, right? Sorry? You have an interesting chart to show of Ethereum, right? There we go. There we go. This is it. So what uh, Inti did is used uh, an old style of uh, charting method before we uh, found, we discovered Japanese candlesticks. So, um, these right here, over here, are each, each, uh, each daily candle, right? Because we're on the daily, 
is a Japanese co- kind of Japanese candlestick, right? And this this became the the standard for charting after the Second World War because we discovered it from the Japanese because they kept it all to themselves, right? They were close society, and they had that for like over five hundred years, <laughs> actually. And uh, never shared it until uh, you know they were uh, defeated in the war, uh, and so, anyways, uh, we before that we used to use point and figure, and one of the things that point and figure would show us, and you can see that we are bouncing off uh, on Ethereum, we're bouncing off a major trend line that if we break, it's bad news, right, for Ethereum. Uh, you know, the two hundred dollar level is is the next target uh, for Ethereum if we break this, but. Looking at here, what we can do is figure out, count up all the the, uh, the different X's and O's, and figure out how far where we can project price after the breakout. And it turns out it projects price at five thousand dollars. Now I don't think, with the hyperinflation coming, that this is going to be uh, uh, the, the the actual target. I think it's going to be a lot higher. But let's but taking assuming that no hyperinflation occurs. That everything is like going to be hunky dory, and uh, the government can print as much money as it wants, and it does not lose value. <laughs> right? Uh, this is the target. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you think economic law does not apply to the United States, well, that's the price that we're going to see probably in um, in 2021, 2022, 2022. I think 2022 is probably where the target is going to hit. Now, um, that's an interesting chart, and I'm sure a lot of people are happy. That's a lot. You might say, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty big. But you know what? In crypto, eh, it's tiny. It's nothing. It's a, it's a nothing burger. <laughs> but that's a 10, more than two. That's a 12x from here. Yeah, it's a nothing burger. <laughs> All righty then. Okay, let's get over on to the the. the the uh, what's the current um, price action that we're having here now as you can see um, we have our own uh, trend line here now it's not it's not the end of the world if we break it uh, but it's still it's still not a good thing to do um, if we break the um, let's see here a 308 level right uh, you can see uh, prices we can get all the way down to, let's see here, um, you know, uh, well, you know what, Th- that's interesting. You know what, we could bounce off of the 288, and if we do that, the bull, the bull, uh, bullish case is intact, um, right? But if we break below the two and close below the 288 level, you can see prices coming all the way back down to the two, to around the 240, $200 level. And, and staying here for quite some time, uh, but you know what? That's that's not a that's not um, that's not out of the ordinary for uh, Ethereum. All right, let's get on to the topic. The main topic. No, before we get on to the main topic of the day, I want to talk about uh, um, DJ 15's token. Right, I'm I'm building a website. Right, it's starting out right now. You can head there, uh, www.davinciej15.com, right? And uh, I will be, um, you know, setting up the icon for this. I'm going to be changing the icon over the next, uh, between now and the end of this month and providing, you know, a little synapse of what this token is and everything. And yeah, so we'll have that ready for the end of this month. Well, before we get on to the NFTs, I, wanna, uh, I want you guys to head over to uh, this uh, tweet and vote for which moniker you like. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really warming up to Crypto Morpheus, but I also like Bitcoin, o, I mean, uh, Bitcoin Morpheus, but I also like Bitcoin OG. All right, NFTs, right? That's what, that's what everybody's been asking in the chat group. And what it is, is non-fungible tokens, NFT, right? A non-fungible token is simply a unique digital asset Assets like Bitcoin are fungible, meaning that all Bitcoins are the same and completely interchangeable. So, right, uh, you don't say, well, that Bitcoin is different from that Bitcoin, so I don't want it. Right? No, you don't do that. Right. Um, 
So that makes it fungible, right? Um, and an example of a non-fungible token would be a piece of art, right? So for example, you can say, um, hey, I don't like that artwork because, you know, it's ugly, right? But I like that one over there because it's beautiful, right? And those are, they're all uh, in the category of art. But because they're different art pieces, right? They, um, they have different values, right? Based on people's subjective uh, view of value. And also, uh, you could have like one, you could have artwork that's one of, um, one of 10, one of 20, one of 30. And maybe one of 30 uh, is, was scratched or something or damaged. And, and it could have, be, be, uh, have a different value. So that is an example of a non-fungibility of, uh, of an asset, right? Class, even though the artworks are generally the same when the, uh, the artist creates it and may they create only a thousand of the same piece, um, they, the, the, some, one piece may not be as uh, quality as the other. All right, um, I can have two of the exact same pieces of digital art, but each one is entirely unique. The example below of two NFTs in a, in a, from a crypto artist, Josie, here two pieces, choose edition one, four, number four, and choose cho choice edition five might look the same, but are entirely unique on the blockchain. So what that means is basically, even though they're exactly the same um, photos, is that if I were to send you both, uh, both those number four and number five, right? Uh, what would happen is that you would have in your, uh, your account, you wouldn't have uh, two of those, of uh, two art pieces of artwork. No, no, no. You'd have number five, number four and number five. That's it. That's that's how they'd be counted. Uh, they wouldn't be, even though they categorized in the same. You wouldn't have like, um, for example, like you know how you'd have. If I have one Ethereum and then I send you an, and somebody sends me another Ethereum, now I have two. Yeah, I have two Ethereum, right? Um, but if somebody sends me uh, two, one of uh, these uh, Josie artworks and then they send me another Josie artwork, I don't have. I don't effectively have two uh, Josie artworks. I have two separate pieces of artwork, which happen to be under uh, the, the same uh, image, but uh, two separate uh, items, and then they, I can, I can tr uh, transfer them. Can't divide them into pieces. All right, um, with that said, uh, there's a lot of uh, different uh, websites, which allows you to create artwork and, uh, and, and tokenize them, right? Um, it's this is one of them right and you could actually sell create your artwork and, and tokenize it so that's uh, that's one example of what people are going to do in the future so that they can um, sell even though somebody could take a copy of that physical image uh, you'll know who the owner is because the owner has a key to the rights to that image and um, and, and they will and they could either pass it off to somebody or um, uh, or, or keep it for themselves and so uh, maybe in the future right um, right there could be like a place on on a game in a game a video game where you could post up your artwork and because the video game can be programmed in such a way that only the original owner can show off that art you're gonna see people with that kind of stuff and that's that's gonna be huge huge also, there's also this crappy artwork which people are which people are buying, of course, right? Uh, you you see the banana with taped to a wall, right? And people are paying millions of dollars of that, right? <laughs> and you can see, right? Uh, now we're selling this. Uh, you know, Ashton Kutcher is like, you know, does this stupid uh, nonsense and sells it for millions. And you know, there's a website now here. Uh, all this is in the description below. Right where you can uh, go and buy uh, what art, crazy artwork, and be the original owner of these crazy artworks from these famous people. All right, if you're interested in that kind of thing, <laughs> but you never know. These, uh, I bet you, one day, one of these tokens, these NFTs, are gonna go for hundreds of millions, even if not billions, for some god knows reason i don't know why but that's just the way it is and so um yeah 
it, you can get into this kind of stuff and you uh, if you uh, if you if you have an eye for art and an eye for uh, picking uh, assets that are going to um, you know appreciate like that um, this is where it's going to be another way uh, this can be used right um, is in video games of course right and God's Unchained uh, plans to go mainstream with uh, without uh, crashing it Ethereum. Well, let's see what that happens. <laughs> but anyways, um, they are they're creating their own uh, NFTs, right, to, to allow you to uh, purchase products in that game, right. Uh, also, um, I'm gonna uh, go on to a Pogs, and I had Pogs up here, and I don't know what happened because. It was uh, it was one of those uh, oh darn. Let me just see if I can bring it back up. I had Pogs up here and it's gone. And I'm going to bring it back because I think that uh, has the most likelihood of doing extremely well because it's a simple game, right? And uh, simplicity is key. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. Is that it? Yes. Pogs. Basically, Pogs was these 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 uh, little um, discs, right, with an image, and there were certain ones that were rare and so forth. And this, all you had to do was like, um, you know, throw throw them onto some uh, some throw the Pogs on, uh, and try to flip the other one over, right. And if you flipped it, you got that Pog. That was it. And, and some and you can you know play with your your rare Pogs, and you know you could lose that rare Pog. And you can turn this into a video game very easily and play them. And so I see that this is another, this is going to be very, very popular with the kids going forward. And uh, yeah, um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see uh, Pogs going for a, a, a Pog image uh, uh, or token going for thousands, if not uh, hundreds of thousands in the future. So yeah, I think this is going to be a very big, big game going forward. Alrighty, uh, with that said, um, I, I think uh, that's it for uh, NFTs. If you have any questions about NFTs, I'm looking forward to hearing them. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my um, my uh, to um, my YouTube channel, please do so before my birthday. Very important that you do so because you are going to, you're going to um, you're going to really like uh, what's going to happen. And don't forget to hit the like button. Let's just see how many people are watching. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, oh, 600 people? Come on guys, let's get that up to 300 likes, please. Right? And don't forget to comment, right? Because like, be a part of the, the, the group because you will help the generate more views, generate more people interested in uh, uh, of my videos and so forth. And uh, if, you're, uh, if you're a token holder, right? Uh, I really believe you're going to benefit from that and you will like the benefits that come from being a token holder and, and subscribing and supporting the channel. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And let's talk about let's go on to uh, my favorite part of the show, which is the questions and answers. All right. Uh, next question. OK, this one, this, this one is uh, this has to do with NFTs, but this uh, kind of topic is funny. Is from is from Coyo class. As a comment for Da Vinci, you should record your love and sell it as an NFT. <laughs> Did you got it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would be funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe that would work. I don't know. But let's just see. The question, the real question, is from again Philip Evans. So it's a super chat. And he has at which point when fiat goes. Uh, when fiat goes digital, do you think Bitcoin will go to zero? If protocols are not created or allowed between blockchains, crypto, crypto futures are dead. Uh, crypto futures are dead? That's what he said. Really? Because of like, if, if, if what's not created? Uh, it says, well, again, when, when, when fiat goes digital, Yes. Um, pro, uh, I mean, protocols are not created or allowed between blockchains, crypto features are dead. That's not true because um, when fiat goes digital and they decide to, to not make it interoperable, they just they just shot themselves, they just created the same thing that we already have, which is a waste of time because they already have digital currencies, right? It's just slow 
and, uh, and, and could fully control, right? So if they create the same slowness and fully controlledness, what are they doing? Nothing, <laughs> right? So it, they provide no value and, and, and uh, obviously that will kill them even faster, right? Because, oh yeah, I'm duplicating what I've already got. What? Go away. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they they would not stand a chance, right? With some sort of digital currency that's that's centralized, inoperable with the, the current uh, uh, digital currencies that are out there, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, and uh, also um, uh, you know uh, a, a com completely slow as um, as our current fiat system is, which is like prevents people from moving money around really quickly. So yeah, they uh, don't expect the government to do something like that. They will not be able to build something solid. They'll build something really crappy that we're gonna hack and break. And uh, yeah, that's that's just the way it is. They, uh, they're just completely clueless when it comes to building something solid. So don't be surprised. They can only do, they have, what they generally do is just, remember, money would never came from government, never did. Even paper money never came from government. It came from the, the public sector. And government decided, well, that's a good idea. I'll take that, I'll use that, and duplicate it. That's it, that's all they can do. They're not smart enough to build something solid on their own. And so, yeah, they, they'll, they'll probably just duplicate what, what's out there. And, um, and, it's, uh, and then if they do, and it's uh, interoperable, right, that's great. Uh, I'll just be able to transfer quickly into from government coin to Bitcoin and Ethereum really, really fast because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right. Thank you for, for, for that question and thank you all for watching. I really appreciate everybody uh, watching today's stream. Let's just see how many people are here. Um, Thanks to our Twitch viewers. We got 14 today. Wow. 14 the Twitch viewers. That's, uh, wow. We're, we're dropping off on the Twitch viewers. Need we need to, to give, give them more love. Yeah, I need to give them a lot more love. Thank you guys for, for watching as well. And yeah, uh, looks looks good. Um, 612 people. Um, I know a lot of people were not interested in NFTs. They wanted to be DeFi uh, enthusiasts. Screw NFTs. That just, just, that's not important. But hey, you know what? I think for Monday's show, I'm going to be doing altcoins. We're gonna go. We're gonna be going deep, diving deep into altcoins for Monday show and figure out which altcoins are best to buy, right? Um, and where we should buy a few altcoins uh, in in the future. All right. I see you guys on Monday. Cheers, people. Bye. Have a good one. Bye now.